Hello! The purpose of this video is to help you to start having fun with this little unit right away. This is the Korg Volca sample, and we're going to use it as the basis for learning all about electronic music production. But what I think is most important is that you start having fun with this immediately so that you're just constantly wanting to play with it, because uh, you're going to learn a lot more from that than you will from anything else. As you're learning this, I do recommend you learn it in chunks. Don't try to learn everything at once. There's a lot of advanced features in this that we'll get to later. For now, though, I just want you to start having fun. So, welcome. Uh, how we initially have this set up, we should have power coming in, and or if you're using batteries, uh, that's fine too. And you should have a single stereo audio cable coming out, and that's going to lead to your headphones or speakers or whatever it is that you're using. Um, so like I've got a pair of earbuds here, these would work fine. Um, I've got two pairs here. I want to point out something before we even get started. So this pair has a little microphone on it. And notice the connector here, uh, this is what we call TRRS. So there's four different metal sections with three dividing lines between them. And this one, we've got no microphone, and so it's got three different metal sections with two dividing lines between them. So the white one we'd call TRRS, which is tip ring ring sleeve. The black one we would call TRS, which is tip ring sleeve. The black one, or TRS, this is what you want, okay? So that's what I've got plugged in here, is a tip ring sleeve cable. That's what the output of this through the headphones jack is. This type, where it has four different sections and has a microphone, they generally don't work that well, so I recommend against it. If that's all you have to use, you can do this. Plug it in, try it. If it doesn't sound right, just start slowly pulling the plug out until you find a point where it works. But it's kind of finicky, it's not great, so. If you have just regular ones, use that. So you can also plug into, you know, an external speaker if it has an aux in port, um, or, you know, a pair of bigger headphones if you have something like that. Again, as long as it's using this type of TRS cable, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'll power it on. There we go. Um, I'll do that one more time. So by the way, if you're on batteries, this line of LEDs at the bottom will show you the level or the charge of your batteries, right? So if you're on AC power, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's always gonna be full. So here we go. This is uh, completely stock, all the stock sounds on it and everything. So this is like a factory reset um, Volca sample. So we've got uh, these first 10 little touchpad here uh, are sounds. So I've got 10 sounds on there by default. These six here, uh, these are for more advanced stuff that we'll get to later. So for now, just ignore them. So I'm gonna refer to these as one through 10. I'll refer to these as 11 through 16, but again, we're not gonna use 11 through 16 right now, just one through 10. So there's our sounds. And yeah, notice how easy it is to slide your finger across and play multiple. Also, you can tap in between two, and with a little bit of practice, you can get it to fire both at once instead of just one. Right, so that's that's cool too. Okay, so we've got our 10 basic sounds here that are already loaded up. Okay, notice these ones, they don't do anything when you touch them. This is for more advanced stuff, so for now, don't worry about it, just ignore it. So we have our 10 basic sounds, and you can, right from here, you can start having fun just doing this. Just mess around, make up your own little beats. You can do it with two fingers like I was doing, you can do it with one hand. Whatever makes sense to you. So now, uh, I'll also show you on the buttons over here, for now we're gonna ignore most of them, but this one here that says memory in black above it and right and white below it, this is our load and save button. So if you press and hold this, see it says load, and you choose one of the first 10 slots to load. So default, that should say memory. On this little screen, they can't write an M, so that's how they write it. So, okay, so that means memory slot one. So I've loaded that slot. Now I hit play. Okay, so that's the, the built-in song that comes in memory slot one. Um, and just to point out, also notice this blinking one right here, 
that's the tempo or the speed of the song. So if I hit play, and then I start changing this, and I can slow it way down, or speed it way up. This number that shows on the screen here uh, is called beats per minute, and we'll get more to that later. Okay, so we've got our built-in song here that's not terribly interesting. Um, so let's just erase it and make something new. So to erase things, you hold function, and then down here in this section it says clear, and then there's three options here. We want to do clear all, right? So clear all. That's going to erase the entire song. So now when I hit play, nothing happens because we just erased it. But notice this little light still moving along, showing us that it's playing. So anytime you touch one of these pads, you switch to that. Uh, in the, the language they use, each of these is called a part. So we have 10 different parts. And each part is a sound. Uh, we'll also use the word sample. Um, basically, it's just any sound uh, that you can imagine can be a part. It could be you know, a vocal, somebody talking or singing. It could be a guitar sound, a piano sound, drum sound, whatever you want. So by default, this first one is a drum sound. That's whatever that sound is. All right, there's a clap, different drum, vocal sample. If you can't have fun with that, you're in the wrong place. All right, so that's a kind of a, call that a pad sound. That's actually the same sound across both of those. And I'll explain why we do that. Okay, there's a cymbal sound, some other thing, and a different drum. Okay, so this thing is just totally blank now, right? I hit play, nothing happens because we erased it. So let's go to our first little drum sound here, right? Let's say we want to make just a super basic beat uh, that we can play on top of. Well, a couple different ways to do that. Um, so one, you could hit record and then hit play and see how that starts moving along. Now this is just going to, this is what we call live record mode. See it says live up here. Um, this is uh, how we just record an instrument, well, live, I'll show you. All right, so you heard it just recorded every time I tap that. And I can just, without touching anything else, I can just start adding more stuff in here. So there you go. You can just use that to keep layering more and more stuff into your song, right? So that's great. Um, and also notice this. So this is now, everything I just did there is now saved. So I can hit play, even though record is off, I can hit play, plays back my little thing. And now I can still play on top of this, but it's not recording what I'm doing because that's off, right? So that's a really good way to kind of get started. Just put down something super simple, like record something super simple, then stop the recording, play back whatever you have, and just start messing around on top of it. And um, it's not recording everything you're doing, so it makes it easy, you know, it's, it doesn't make a big jumbled mess, right? Also notice how it flashes the light every time it plays, you know, that sound. So you can kind of get a visual sense of if that sound is being used or not. Right. So I can see right here, this slot two is not being used at all, right? So, okay. That's uh, kind of the quickest and easiest way to start to start recording stuff. Now, um, let's say this song, this sound I'm not particularly crazy about. How do we change it? Well, this black knob right here that says sample, that rolls you through all your different sounds. So the first character here is it's, it looks like a five, but it's an S, so that stands for sample. So this is sample 51, right? Um, and as I roll it, I scroll through them. That's cool. Okay, so each of these 10 parts, or each of these 10 slots can hold a different sample or a different sound. So I just changed my slot two to be that sound. All the rest of them are exactly the same as they were before, all right? So now I'll just add some of this into my sound, or into my song. So I hit play, and I'm also gonna hit record because I wanna add something. So 
both of those are on. Okay, cool. But now let's say, maybe I did this here. I'll do something that's just terrible. So the slot five is not being used currently. Okay, <laughs> so that's pretty terrible. So how do I erase that? Well, we already learned how to erase everything, right? It's function and then this, this 16th one here, but that'll erase everything. I don't wanna erase that. I just wanna erase this one terrible sound, right? So uh, that's where this clear part comes in. So function 15. So notice how when nothing's playing, Anytime I touch one of these, the light beneath it is lit up. That means that's the part I have selected, all right? So if this is the one I want to erase, then I hold, I have to make sure I have that one selected and then function this one here, the 15th one. So you not deleted that part. So now when I play back my sound, that piece is gone, but the rest of it's still there, right? So it's an undo button basically. Like you do something that you hate, and just quickly erase that one little part and re-record it. So that's cool. And now let's have even more fun with this. So <laughs> it's a cool sound, but uh, this knob here, speed, this is probably, of all of the knobs here, speed is the most fun. And what this is going to do is it's going to change the pitch uh, of that. Well, okay, it's going to change the playback speed of that sound, which will also change the pitch. So start with it at high noon, pointed straight up. So that'll be, that'll show zero on the screen here, right? And that means nothing's happening. It's playing the original sound. And now listen, as I turn it up, right, it's getting higher pitch and it's also playing faster. And likewise, as I turn it down, it's gonna play slower and lower pitch. Okay, so that is super fun to play with just right off the bat. So let's add a little bit of that. So play then record, or you can do it the other direction, doesn't matter, record and then play, it does the same thing. <laughs> I don't know if I can live with that. All right, no, it's fine. Um, so yeah, so you can have a lot of fun with just this one speed knob without touching anything else. It's, it's great. Um, now, uh, okay, so now we've got like the little, basic bits of a song, right? And now we can play with these two knobs to change the sound of the whole song at once. All right, so listen to this. Okay, so these two knobs are affecting all 10 parts at once. So that's another easy way to kind of play with just the general sound of what's going on. Okay, so that's that's how to live record a song. Um, and you know, feel free to mess with all of these. Um, they all do different things. And this is, everything in this, this gray box right here applies to just one part. So if I go like into this sound, right, I can start playing with, even if you don't know what it does, don't matter. Just, just use your ears, play with it, see what it does. Okay. Um, the only one that maybe is a little bit tricky here is level. This is just volume for this one part. So if I turn that all the way down, I don't hear anything because I've just turned the volume down for this one particular sound. So your level is going to have to be, you know, somewhere up if you want to hear the sound at all. So that's it. I think um, that's a good place to start. Oh, and uh, let, let's also save our song. Let's say, you know, we like what we've done. So um, the same button, remember if you Press, press it there, it's load. That's loading a new one, that's not what we want. Instead, what we want to do is save our song. So I hold function, then press that button, and that's gonna put us in write mode, or they write save here. And then you choose which of the 10 slots you want to save it into. So the one that's blinking is the one you're currently in. In this case, sure, I'll just overwrite what's already there. There you go. So I've now saved my song into slot one. So if I switch to a different one, play it, all right. Now I can switch back to my first one. So, <laughs> so there's, there's our song. So yeah, I'd say just uh, stop the video here and just play with that. Uh, you can do so much with what I've just given you 
Like before we even get into any of the other advanced stuff, just play with that, have fun, start making some stuff, uh, start saving them into these different slots, and then uh, we'll go from there.